wondering if any of the panel, I don't have a particular person in mind, I wonder if any of the panel has a thought on kind of the big I impact, especially if you're translating from learning into formal education. A lot of the influencers want to see, well, what is the benefit, who benefits, why? Um, and if you, in your own class, have your own ways of measuring and defining something that's like you. It's a really interesting uh, uh, thing to bring in this. Uh, actually, when we were at the BBC, we tried to measure um, something called ridiculously arc with reach, quality, impact, and value. And being the BBC, we spent years trying to define each one of those and never got, actually got around to being able to manage, uh, measure them. Um, I think one of the things coming fresh into the industry and trying to, um, it's very interesting the distinction between education and learning actually. I was thinking about it from our perspective. We see ourselves as a learning company but we do work with a whole load of, you know, the education industry. And what are we trying to bring in there? How does that relate to impact? I think we get really excited by scale, for example. Uh, by the ability potentially to impact thousands, tens of thousands, uh, hopefully over time millions of people uh, in new ways. And by the potential of the internet, web, to enable one to do that now. And uh, we kind of get sucked into lots of conversations about really sort of niche individual um, uh, bespoke projects that we know could impact like you know, handfuls or dozens or hundreds of people but we have to keep pulling ourselves back from that and go no no we have an opportunity here to really marshal um, the web to do something on a much greater scale so scale of course is one measure of impact um, in our world of you know the MOOC world um, people are often sort of the brickbats come out of, well, lots of people start, you know, start your courses, Simon, but not many people finish them. And so that is something that we are trying very hard to understand and measure, so we can respond to that. And uh, by our own measure of impact, which is, uh, what we measure is uh, the extent to which people participate in our courses, uh, rather than complete uh, courses. And that's quite a, a different sort of philosophical approach than many of the other players. And what we find is a quarter of the people who start our courses participate in the majority of the course. We're very proud of that. So that's another kind of thing we, we measure. But I can promise you we have all sorts of debates internally about is participation real learning? Has someone actually learned something at the end of that? How effective is it, etc. And there's something that, however, we just can't yet measure, or haven't worked out a way of measuring, we probably can. And that's how much people enjoy, or love, is the word we use, the experience of uh, doing a course on future learning. And again, I'd encourage you, all of you, particularly you, because we'd quite like to work with you, um, to um, have a look at a course, and have a look at what people are saying and doing in that course. And what you'll feel, I hope, is, wow, you know, these people love learning in this way. And that's one of those things. We haven't got the answer, but if I could measure love, then that would be a really powerful and important index for what this company is trying to achieve. Awesome. George, quickly.